There! All ready for the fairy picnic this afternoon. Thank you, Noddy. Hiya, everyone! <laughs> We've written a song! I'm Who! I'm Bling! We're, We're cool. cool! So cool! cool. They rule! They rule! Hooray! <laughs> That's very nice. But we're a teensy weensy big bit busy. <laughs> Oops. Oh. See ya! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> oh, what a mess. We better tidy up. There's no need to help us tidy. You've all done more than enough to help. Time to go home and I'll see you at the picnic later. Don't be late. Thanks, Your Majesty. <laughs> Fairies, time to clean up this mess. Yes, Your Majesty, right away. Oh, fizzling fairy dust. I forgot that we need a dance floor. Can you move a few of these trees to make room for it? At once, Your Majesty. <laughs> <sighs> Fable Forest Station. We're almost there. Yay! <laughs> huh? Oh, the train's changed direction. Noddy, what's happening? Oh dear. Hmm. Someone's moved the tracks. I need to investigate why the train track's been moved. Time to open a new case. Who? What? what? When? when? Where? Where? Why? Why? How? How? Let's investigate now! Let's call this the case of the moving train tracks. What are you going to do first, Noddy? Someone was trying to stop us from getting to Fable Forest. But why would someone do that? <gasps> Maybe they didn't want us to get to the Queen's picnic. <coughs> Clever thinking, Bumpy. The Nauticorns were cross we didn't listen to their song. Maybe they moved the tracks. Let's ask them. And we'll all go back to Toy Green and wait until we get news from you. <laughs> See you later, everyone. Good luck, Noddy. I'm who? I'm Bling. We're, We're cool. cool. So, so cool. cool. They rule. They rule. Naughty cool. cool. in the stables. Yay! Yeah. That was great. Yay! Thanks. It's going to sound so amazing at the picnic. Yeah. There isn't going to be a picnic. What? what? Not yet, anyway. Someone's moved the train tracks, and I'm trying to find out why. Move the train tracks? Why would anyone want to do that? So it wasn't you, then? Us? No! So if you didn't move the tracks, who did? Come on, Bumpy. We need to inspect the train tracks. <laughs> Bye, Nauticorns. Bye-bye. There must be a clue here somewhere. The train tracks are really big and heavy. How could someone lift these? Whoever moved them must be really strong. Smartysaurus and Deltoid are the strongest toys in Toyland. It wasn't Smartysaurus because she was on the train with us. But where was Deltoid? He wasn't on the train. Maybe he moved the tracks. Let's go to Daredale. Oh, where are you? Ha, ha, ha! Uh. Oh. Oh. Hi, Deltoid. Ah, oh, Noddy. Perfect timing. I'm sure you'll be able to help me. Where is it? Where's what? Have you lost something? My helmet. I can't find it anywhere. But, Deltoid, your helmet is... Yes, so important if I want to ride my tri-bike. I know. 
Uh? <gasps> My helmet! <laughs> Thank you, friend. Now I can go to the fairy picnic. But the picnic's delayed. Someone moved the train tracks into Fable Forest. Why would someone do such a thing? That's what I'm trying to find out. What are you going to do? Who knows about train tracks? The builders, yes! They look after all the building things, including the train tracks. Hmm. Let's go to Brickabuild. Thanks, Deltoid. You are welcome, Noddy. <laughs> Where's my tri bike key? Left hand down a bit. That's it. I haven't touched the train track. And who did? Not a clue, I'm afraid, mate. Oh, thank you. This investigation is so hard. Big Ears always says a good investigator thinks and thinks again. Hmm. I know I'm looking for someone really strong. Or something. Hmm. Excuse me. Huh? Could someone have used your bulldozer? No one else touches our bulldozer. We've been using it all day. Except when we stop for a little break. Huh? You call that little? We were thinking about our next building. When did you have a break? Oh, they've had lots of breaks today. Lots of thinking. <sighs> I see. So maybe someone borrowed the bulldozer during one of your breaks. Hmm. Maybe. Oh, look, a clue. It's a hair tie. What's that doing there, laddie? I didn't think this belonged to you. <laughs> so whose is it? No. No. There. The hair tie belongs to the fairies. What was a fairy doing in the bulldozer? Thanks, builders. Bye! Bye, Noddy! Uh -huh. Noddy, what is happening? Why have the train tracks moved? No one can come to the picnic. I'm investigating, Your Majesty. I think I'm getting close to the answer. Look, Cleo, I found your hair tie in the bulldozer. Thanks, Noddy. Coco and I borrowed it to move the trees quicker. My hair tie must have fallen off. Without asking the builders. Cleo. I'm sorry. Did you move the tracks too? Mm. No. Why would I do that? Queen Sparklewings didn't ask us to do that. I moved the track before I took the bulldozer back. Sparkling stars. Coco, why? Because every time there's a party or a picnic or anything in Fable Forest, we always have to clean the mess up all on our own. <laughs> and Her Majesty won't let guests help us. Did you decide to move the track to stop us from getting to the picnic? <laughs> yes. So you didn't have to clear everything up after us? I should have just talked to you about it. I'm a very sorry fairy. Oh, Coco. Maybe I do expect too much from you and Cleo. It won't happen again. Hmm. If we get the tracks moved back, we're still in time to have the fairy picnic. <laughs> <laughs> Your fairy picnic is delightful, Your Majesty. Thank you, but... Where are the naughty corns? No. <laughs> oh. Huh? Lovely! Oh. <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall, we know what the mirror's for. Who's the coolest of them all? Who do we like more and more? The best and super cool. Naughty corns just rock your soul. I'm oh, who? I'm bling. We're cool. So cool. They rule. They rule. Naughty corns in the stables. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <Hooray>! <laughs> and now 
Let's everybody clean up together. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Our turn to tidy up. Go! <laughs> Here you are, Smarty Saurus. Thanks, Noddy. When everyone helps, it's much faster. Yes, and it's thanks to you, Noddy. Well done. You solved the investigation. Thanks. Whoever moved the track needed to be strong. I worked out that even a small fairy can use a big bulldozer. The fairies didn't think it was fair that they were always doing the tidying up. <laughs> and now that everyone's helping to tidy up, the fairies are much happier. <laughs> the case of the moving train track is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! Just a queen sparkle wings. The, the queen. queen. Oh. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Your, Your Majesty. Majesty. Hello, naughty corns. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello, Your Majesty. Thanks for inviting us to your make and take party, Pat Pat. Yes, it's such fun. <laughs> uh, what do I do again? Oh, Queen Sparklewings, sorry, I should have explained. Uh, you make something and then you take it away. Oh, painting, how lovely. The Queen loves painting. Let's bring her some painting stuff. Tropical, get her some paintbrushes. And paper. And crayons too. Oh, but I was using them. <gasps> Hurry up, she's coming. Come on. <laughs> Your Majesty. We would like to offer oh. you oh. our painting, painting stuff. stuff. <laughs> Thank you for my picture, Noddy. It's... Huh? Oh. Left hand thing, you is stop! Tick-tock, tick-tock, stop it! Look like Mouse. What's going on? The builders are trying to build a palace in the middle of Toy Green. Oh. By order of the King of Toyland. Oh. oh! What am I going to do? Why don't you talk to the king and ask him not to build his palace here? But I don't know who he is. Maybe I can help. I need to investigate. Who is the king of Toyland? Time to open a new case. Investigate! Let's call this the case of the King of Toyland. How are you going to solve this one, Noddy? I just need to find the king. Then I'll know who he is. Now, where would I find a king? Bricky build? No. Animal Acres? No. Fable Forest? Yes! There's a castle there, and a king always lives in a castle, doesn't he? Well, yes, but Queen Sparklewings lives there. I know. Maybe she knows who's the king of Toyland. Come on, Bumpy. <coughs> First stop, Fable Forest Castle. Good luck, Noddy. No, Noddy. We haven't seen Her Majesty all day. Oh. What about the king of Toyland? Who? Huh? There is no king of Toyland. Hmm. Make way for the King of Toyland. Huh? Knight! Wait! Who is the King of Toyland? <laughs> oh, look! There's his crown! Oh, it's glittery! But I still can't see who it is. It looks like they're heading for the Dino Lab. Let's go! <laughs> this one is for you, and this one is for you. 
Stop! All bow for the king of Toyland! Oh! Oh! And could he have that orange flower, please? Yes, of course, Your Majesty. <laughs> For you, Your Majesty. Halt! <gasps> no one approaches the king. Excuse me, Your Majesty. <laughs> Hi, Smartysaurus. Look, the king asked for my orange flower to go with his orange crown, I suppose. That's it. Look, his palace in Toy Green was orange too. I think it's his favourite colour. Hmm. We've seen something else orange today, Bumpy. What was it? Yes, Pat Pat's painting. Of course. Perhaps it's a present for the king. Let's go and ask her. Hey, oh, no, Noddy. No, super sorry, Noddy. This painting's just for me. I didn't know there was a king of Toyland. No one knows who he is. That's why I'm investigating. He wants to build a huge palace right over Toy Green. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, Pat Pat, this orange card's got a sheep cut out. <laughs> it looks like pointy teeth. <laughs> or a crown, an orange crown. Yes. Oh, like the king of Toyland. <gasps> that means whoever made this crown was here at the make and take party when they made it. Oh! <laughs> this must be the glitter they used. And look, they left a hoof print behind. <gasps> Noddy! That's where the nauticorns were. But why would they make a crown and give it to the king? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. A crown? No. We did paper folding. See? Ooh. Yeah. Pretty amazing, eh? Uh, oh, oh! Stop! The King of Toyland invites Hoof and Bling to a royal ball. Yeah! yeah. Wow. Wow. Mm. Hmm. Noddy, here's one for you too. Thanks. Oh, that's Queen Sparkling's tiara stamp. She must be helping to arrange the ball. Whatever. Come on, it's party time. Nay! <laughs> and Cloppy Corn isn't even invited. <laughs> That's strange. Why wasn't Cloppy Corn invited? And where is he? This investigation's really hard. <gasps> Thanks, Bumpy. Big Is always says a good investigator thinks and thinks again. We know someone made the crown at Pat Pat's make and take party, and we know they left a hoof print behind. So if it wasn't Hoof or Bling who made the crown, then it must have been. <laughs> huh? Cloppy Corn Stable. It's so orange. That must be his favourite colour. Just like the King of Toyland. I think I know who the King of Toyland is. Come on, Bumpy, we're going to the Royal Ball. <laughs> Isn't it fabulous-saurus? <laughs> oh, but we still don't know who the King of Toyland is. And I do need to talk to him before the builders build that palace all over Toy Green and ruin it. <sighs> Whistle my whiskers, Noddy knows the King. Huh? Hmm? Hmm. One, two, one, two, one, two, stop! The king offers his most loyal subjects the honour of holding the royal wand. Oh, wow. That's brilliant! That's us, that's us! We want to hold royal it! The royal wand! Whoa, oh, oh, oh! 
<gasps> Careful! Oh. All bow for the King of Toyland, His Majesty oh. King Clobbycorn! <laughs> Clopicorn? You're the king of Toyland. Oh, I'm sorry. It was just a bit of fun. I wasn't really going to build a palace on Toy Green. <sighs> but why did you pretend to be king? I... I... Uh, Hoof and Bling were being really bossy at the make and take party. And you thought that if you were a king, then they'd stop? Yes. Oh, cloppy corn. So you made yourself an orange crown. And Queen Sparklewings helped you. I did. He was so upset, I wanted him to feel happy again. Hmm. So I magicked up a royal carriage. And arranged a royal ball. Uh, cloppy corn. Um... We're really sorry. We didn't mean to be bossy. No. You're our favourite unicorn. Please be a naughty corn again and not the king of Toyland. Please. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, then. Yay! All right. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> well done, Noddy. You've solved the investigation. Thanks. I found out that the king's favourite colour was orange. When I worked out that the crown was made at the make and take party, it led me to Clobbycorn. He wanted to be king for a day, so that everyone would be nice to him. <laughs> <laughs> and he's happy being a naughty corn again now. Yes. The case of the king of Toyland is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! The lettuce picking day at the farm. Excellent. <laughs> Farmer Tom said we can take one home with us too. Marvellous. <laughs> I love a good lettuce. <laughs> What is it, boy? Oh, dear. The lettuces. What on earth has happened? Oh! <laughs> Noddy, Big Ears, I'm so glad you're here. Whoa. What's happened? I don't know. When I woke up this morning, the animals had all escaped from their huts. It looks like they were out all night. And now my farm cat is missing. <laughs> oh, oh! Didn't you hear anything? Not a thing. I sleep like a log. My poor animals. Something must have upset them, but I don't know what. And what if it upsets them again tonight? Don't worry. I can help. I'll find out what the problem is so that your animals won't get upset again tonight. Oh, Noddy. Oh, thank you. Whoa! I need to investigate what upset the farm animals last night. Time to open a new case. Who? What? What? When? when? Where? Where? Why? Why? How? How? Let's investigate now! Let's call this the case of the upset animals. What's your first move, Noddy? I'm going to look for clues around the farm. Maybe I can find out what upset them. Good idea. <laughs> and I'll help you tidy up. Thanks, Biggies. All we've got to do is round up the animals, find my cat, move the lettuces, replant the carrots and pumpkins, uh, fix the... Oh, well, right. Uh, not a moment to lose. <laughs> Good luck, Noddy. Thanks. I can't find anything that might have upset everyone. Did anything strange happen last night? Nothing. I put some lovely new stickers on the animal huts, gave everyone supper, and then all the animals went to bed. Oh. <gasps> Leaping lettuces. Come back, cow. 
Time for you to go home. Thanks, Noddy. Come on, Cal. Good luck with the investigation. Thanks. What is it, boy? Hmm. This looks like confetti. And there's some more over there. I think it's a clue. Maybe confetti floating in the sky upset the animals last night. Let's follow it. It's taking us to the Dino Lab. Smarty Saurus? Hello? Oh! oh stop it! Oh, give me that! Oh, <clears throat> oh Noddy, thank you! Kitty Cat slept here last night. Oh, so cute when he's asleep, but he's a bit jumpy when he's awake. Oh! Why did he sleep here? I nearly bumped into him in my dino egg last night. Poor Kitty Cat was running away from the farm. He was so upset, so I brought him home. The cat was upset? So were the other farm animals. Poor things. Oh, Kitty Cat, stop it! I think this confetti had something to do with it. I don't think so, Noddy. Kitty Cat loves confetti. He played with the bag all the way home. So that's where the confetti trail came from. He must have dropped some along the way. Yes, but I can't let him play with all of it. I need some to test my new confetti shooter. Look, I fill the tube with confetti, then push the bottom and... Ta-da! <laughs> it shoots confetti into the air! Ow. Yes, Bumpy. The cat really loves confetti. So that can't be what upset him or the other animals last night. Come on. I'll take you back to the farm when I finish my investigation. Goodbye, Kitty. <laughs> Come back any time. <gasps> Who's making that noise? Maybe that's what scared the animals last night. Let's go! <laughs> Behave, you two. OK? Investigation. We were you dancing yesterday. Yes, we were teaching the naughty cons our new dance. Like it? Yes, it's really loud. I know, isn't it super? Fuse added a new sound boost on my paw. It's for parties. Were you dancing until really late? The farm animals couldn't sleep last night. I think maybe your music kept them awake. Oh dear! No, it wasn't us. The naughty corns got tired. I don't know why. So we all went to bed early. If it wasn't the party music, what was it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Look, this paper's got flowers cut out of it. I'm sure we've seen flowers like this somewhere else today, Bumpy. Yes, these are just like the ones at the farm. Pat Pat, did you make these? Oh, yes, I did. Fuse gave me special sticky paper. They're really good, aren't they? Yes, and did you give them to Farmer Tom? Mm-hmm. I thought they'd look super specially lovely on the farm. When did you give them to him? Yesterday. Why? Because yesterday is when the animals started to get upset. I wonder if the stickers had anything to do with it. Stickers? How? I don't know. Was there anything special about the paper? No, I don't think so. You can keep it. Maybe it'll help your investigation. I can't see anything special either. 
I'm going to talk to Fuse. Maybe he can help. Come on, Bumpy. Negative, Noddy. <laughs> My special sticky paper would not have upset the farm animals. Oh, no. Please do not touch my tools, kitty cat. You see, there is nothing wrong with my sticky paper. It is... Ow, ow. Please stop, kitty... Ow, ow, error. Ow, ow, error. It's okay, Fuse. See? Thank you, Noddy. If the stickies didn't upset the animals, then what did? This investigation is so hard. <laughs> oh dear, it's getting dark. Unless I solve it soon, the poor animals are going to get upset again. Worried face. What can we do? Biggie's always says, a good investigator looks and looks again. I'm going back to the farm to look for more clues. Bye, Fuse. Bye. You are now exiting Brickabilt. <laughs> What's wrong, you two? Huh? <laughs> wow! The stick is glowing in the dark. And Bumpy and Kitty are upset. That's what's upset all the animals. Come on, Revs. We need to get to the farm. Sorry! <laughs> oh, that's better. <sighs> huh. Thanks for your help, <sighs> Big Ears. My pleasure. Oh, <sighs> oh Kitty Cat. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Noddy, what are you doing to my lovely decorations? Sorry, Farmer Tom. We've got to take these off before it gets dark. But we've just tidied everything. I know, but it's for a good reason. I promise. Hmm. I don't understand. Look. Oh. <gasps> Fuse's sticky paper is glowing the dark paper. <laughs> it's okay. Look, it's gone. Oh, no wonder my animals were so upset last night. Thanks, Noddy. Well done, Noddy. You've solved the investigation. <laughs> the animals will sleep much better tonight. Thanks. At first, I thought the confetti had scared the animals. It was only when Pat Pat's sticker started glowing in the dark that I worked out it was stopping the animals getting to sleep. The case of the upset animals is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! And this be a model of the Golden Dragon. It was sailed by Toyland's most fearsome pirate of all, Tina the Terrible. Wow! I bet Tina the Terrible didn't make her crew do all this scrubbing. We shouldn't be spring cleaning. We should be out there looking for treasure. Treasure? Oh! Oops. Ah, oh, scurvy. It be broken. Hmm. Maybe Fuse can fix it. Ah, oh, good thinking, Noddy. First mate stripes, off ye go to brick -a build and get it fixed. But, Captain, not another chore. <gasps> Are ye disobeying an order? No, Captain. No, not at all. Aye, aye, Captain. And while you're at it, can you order some new cannon plugs from Fuse? Aye, aye. We'll see you later too, Captain. I'm helping Biggie spring clean the toadstool. Mm. <sighs> 
finished. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh. Noddy! All our treasure! It's gone! Stripes wasn't there to guard it, and someone must have stolen it! Don't worry, Captain. I'll help you find it. I need to investigate. Who's taken the pirate's treasure? Time to open a new case. Investigate! Who? What? what? When? when? Now. Let's call this the case of the stolen treasure. How are you going to solve this one, Noddy? I'm going to start by looking for clues where the treasure was stolen. Pirate Bay! <laughs> Good thinking. Come on, Bumpy. Let's go. Bye, Big Ears. Good luck, Noddy. <laughs> This be where the treasure was, lad. Mm. Hmm. Nothing is broken, which means whoever took your treasure knew exactly how to open your hidey hole. Only a pirate would know how to do that. <gasps> do you think it could be another pirate? Exactly. Oh. Ah, oh, stripes, there you are. We've got a problem. Our treasure was stolen while you were at Fuse's workshop. We think another pirate might have taken it. Another pirate, eh? I'll see if they're hiding in the rocks. <laughs> rocks! Ah, rocks! Hmm. Nothing here. <laughs> what is it, Bumpy? <laughs> Huh? Look! <gasps> it's another pirate ship! Maybe that's who stole your treasure. Arr, let's show them what we're made of, me hearties! Let's go in search of our treasure! Arr, I thought so. Captain, that isn't a ship. It's just the shadow of one. Huh? mean the ship isn't really there? Well, it must be somewhere, or there wouldn't be a shadow. Look! The shadow's moving! It's heading for Daredale! All hands on deck, me hearties! Every heads up! Yay! Oh, Slice the main brace! <laughs> Fire at will, me hearties! <laughs> Full speed ahead! That shadow looked familiar. I think I've seen it before. But when? Of course. A dragon's head. That's it. Come on, Bumpy. Let's go. Where are they, the thieving pirates? Captain! Look, that's the shadow of the ship we're looking for. And that's the model of the golden dragon. They're the same. Giggling galleons! You mean it was Tina the Terrible who stole our treasure? I think so, but we need to find her to be sure. Ha-ha! Full speed ahead, me hearties! We'll soon find our treasure! Ha-ha! Treasure! Treasure! No, wait! There's no sign of the Golden Dragon. I wonder why. Maybe it's hiding somewhere. Here's a map of Daredale. Where could a big ship hide? Not at the racetrack or in Deltoid's house. But maybe inside the Daredale Caves. Ah, well done, Noddy, me lad. <laughs> <laughs> Set sail for Daredale Caves! Lamps and torches on. Now let's all look for the Golden Dragon. Ah. Me and Scurvy will go this way. The rest of you go that way. Arr! Good thinking, first mate Stripes. Let's go! Hmm. 
still no sign of the golden dragon. Maybe it isn't here after all. <laughs> A shadow! Look! It's the golden dragon! Quick! The shadow's moving! After it! <laughs> it's gone! But I don't understand. How can a giant ship appear and then disappear? No, Jane. Ah, strike, scurvy. We just saw the shadow. Quickly, back in the ship, me hearties. We're getting closer to our treasure. Ah treasure. Ah <laughs> well, at least Stripe seems a bit more cheery. Ah, oh, Revs, there you are. Huh? What's that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Bumpy, it's you. It's your shadow. It's being made by Rev's headlights. See? <laughs> Funny Bumpy. Come on, we've got an investigation to solve. <gasps> no, wait. That's it. A small thing can sometimes make a big shadow. Maybe the shadow of the golden dragon wasn't made by the real golden dragon at all. Maybe it was made by the model golden dragon. One of the wings on the shadow is broken. Just like the wing on the model. Which means someone is using the model ship to make everyone think it's the real one. But who and why? We know first mate Stripes took the model ship to Fuse. Maybe Fuse gave it to someone else. Come on, you two. Let's go and find out. But Noddy, I do not understand. What ship? The ship that first mate Stripes gave you to fix. Did you give it to someone? Oh, dear. Sorry, Noddy. I do not remember first mate Stripes giving me anything to fix. Only Scurvy came to ask for these new cannon plugs. But you must do. She took the model ship and went off with Scurvy to give it to you. While she was away, the treasure went missing. Oh, unless... Thanks. You've been a big help. Have I? Biggies, come with me. Hi, pirates. Ah, Noddy. No joy, I'm afraid. That golden dragon's impossible to catch. That's because it isn't there, Captain. Well, of course it is. We saw its shadow. No, we saw the shadow of your model ship. But the model's at Fuse's workshop. Ain't it, first mate? Sorry, Captain. Noddy's right. We used the model of the Golden Dragon to try and make you think there was a real ship there. But why? <laughs> because it was them who took the treasure. Or not his right, it were. <laughs> the treasure! Sorry, Captain. We were fed up doing all that scrubbing. I knows real pirate scrub decks too, but we wanted to look for treasure instead. Well, I suppose we did have fun, eh? What? Payment accepted. Thank you. Come again soon. Uh, ah, let's find a new treasure, me hearties. <laughs> 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 well done, Noddy. You solved the investigation. Thanks. When I saw Bumpy's shadow on the wall, I worked out it wasn't the real golden dragon. Just the tiny model one. First mate Stripes and Scurvy stole the treasure. They were fed up scrubbing the pirate galleon and wanted to look for treasure. The case of the stolen treasure is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! for the fairy picnic this afternoon. Thank you, Noddy. Hiya, everyone. We've written a song. 
I'm who? I'm Bling. We're, We're cool. So cool. cool. They rule. They rule. That's very nice. But we're a teensy weensy big bit busy. <laughs> Oops. Oh, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, what a mess. We better tidy up. There's no need to help us tidy. You've all done more than enough to help. Time to go home and I'll see you at the picnic later. Don't be late. Thanks, Your Majesty. <laughs> Fairies, time to clean up this mess. Yes, Your Majesty, right away. Oh, fizzling fairy dust. I forgot that we need a dance floor. Can you move a few of these trees to make room for it? At once, Your Majesty. <laughs> <sighs> oh. There's Fable Forest Station. We're almost there. Yay! 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 Huh? Oh. oh! The train's changed direction. Noddy, what's happening? Oh, dear. Hmm. Someone's moved the tracks. I need to investigate why the train track's been moved. Time to open a new case. Who? What? what? When? when? Where? Where? Why? Why? How? How? Let's investigate now. Let's call this the case of the moving train tracks. What are you going to do first, Noddy? Someone was trying to stop us from getting to Fable Forest. But why would someone do that? <gasps> Maybe they didn't want us to get to the Queen's picnic. <laughs> Clever thinking, Bumpy. The Nauticorns were cross we didn't listen to their song. Maybe they moved the tracks. Let's ask them. And we'll all go back to Toy Green and wait until we get news from you. <laughs> See you later, everyone. Good luck, Noddy. I'm who? I'm Bling. We're cool. So cool. cool. They rule. They rule. Nauticorns in, in the stables. stables. Yay! Yeah. That was great. Yay! Thanks. It's going to sound so amazing at the picnic. Yeah. There isn't going to be a picnic. What? Not yet, anyway. Someone's moved the train tracks, and I'm trying to find out why. Move the train tracks? Why would anyone want to do that? So it wasn't you, then? Us? No! So if you didn't move the tracks, who did? Come on, Bumpy. We need to inspect the train tracks. Bye, Nauticorns. Bye-bye. There must be a clue here somewhere. The train tracks are really big and heavy. How could someone lift these? Whoever moved them must be really strong. Smartysaurus and Deltoid are the strongest toys in Toyland. It wasn't Smartysaurus because she was on the train with us. But where was Deltoid? He wasn't on the train. Maybe he moved the tracks. Let's go to Daredale. Oh, where are you? Ha, ha, ha! Uh. Uh. Hi, Deltoid. Ah, Noddy. Perfect timing. I'm sure you'll be able to help me. Where is it? Where's what? Have you lost something? My helmet. I can't find it anywhere. But, Deltoid, your helmet is... Yes, so important if I want to ride my tri-bike. I know. Oh, 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 oh. Uh? 
My helmet! <laughs> Thank you, friend. Now I can go to the fairy picnic. But the picnic's delayed. Someone moved the train tracks into Fable Forest. Why would someone do such a thing? That's what I'm trying to find out. What are you going to do? Who knows about train tracks? The builders, yes! They look after all the building things, including the train tracks. Hmm. Let's go to Brickabuild. Thanks, Deltoid. You are welcome, Noddy. Huh? Where's my tri bike key? Huh? 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 Oh. Left down there. I haven't touched the train track. And who did? Not a clue, I'm afraid, mate. Oh, thank you. This investigation is so hard. Big Ears always says a good investigator thinks and thinks again. Hmm. I know I'm looking for someone really strong. Or something. Hmm. Excuse me. Huh? Could someone have used your bulldozer? No one else touches our bulldozer. We've been using it all day. Except when we stop for a little break. Huh? You call that little? We were thinking about our next building. When did you have a break? Oh, they've had lots of breaks today. Lots of thinking. <sighs> I see. So maybe someone borrowed the bulldozer during one of your breaks. Hmm. Maybe. Oh, look, <gasps> a clue. Oh. It's a hair tie. What's that doing there, laddie? I didn't think this belonged to you. <laughs> so whose is it? No. No. There! The hair tie belongs to the fairies. What was a fairy doing in the bulldozer? Thanks, builders. Bye! Bye, Bye Noddy! Noddy. <laughs> Noddy, what is happening? Why have the train tracks moved? No one can come to the picnic. I'm investigating, Your Majesty. I think I'm getting close to the answer. Look, Cleo. I found your hair tie in the bulldozer. Thanks, Noddy. Coco and I borrowed it to move the trees quicker. My hair tie must have fallen off. Without asking the builders. Cleo. I'm sorry. Did you move the tracks too? Oh. No. Why would I do that? Queen Sparklewings didn't ask us to do that. I moved the track before I took the bulldozer back. Sparkling stars, Coco, why? Because every time there's a party or a picnic or anything in Fable Forest, we always have to clean the mess up all on our own. <laughs> and Her Majesty won't let guests help us. Did you decide to move the track to stop us from getting to the picnic? <laughs> yes. So you didn't have to clear everything up after us? I should have just talked to you about it. I'm a very sorry fairy. Oh, Coco, maybe I do expect too much from you and Cleo. It won't happen again. Hmm. If we get the tracks moved back, we're still in time to have the fairy picnic. <laughs> 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 your fairy picnic is delightful, Your Majesty. Thank you, but where are the naughty corns? Oh. Huh? huh? Lovely. Oh. <laughs> Mirror, mirror on the wall, we know what the mirror's for. Who's the coolest of them all? Who do we like more and more? We are the best and super cool. Naughty corns just rock your soul. Oh, who? I'm bling. We're cool. So cool. They rule. They rule. Naughty corns in the stables. Yeah. <laughs> Now, let's everybody clean up together. Hooray! 
<laughs> Our turn to tidy up. Go! <laughs> Here you are, Smarty Saurus. Thanks, Noddy. When everyone helps, it's much faster. Yes, and it's thanks to you, Noddy. Well done. You solved the investigation. Thanks. Whoever moved the track needed to be strong. I worked out that even a small fairy can use a big bulldozer. The fairies didn't think it was fair that they were always doing the tidying up. <laughs> and now that everyone's helping to tidy up, the fairies are much happier. <laughs> the case of the moving train track is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed!